a Jackie Lacey protest. It's weekly. And I'm going to try to talk to Melina Abdullah in a second. See if she wants to answer a couple questions. Just ask her, like, what's going on here? And, uh, you know, what's the plan? Melina, can I ask you a question on my live stream? It's on Haps News. Um, Dr. Abdullah, what's the plan with all this energy? And what's the, what's the point of being here today for this action? Well, we're trying to capture all the energy trying to stay in these streets, um, remembering that what we're looking for is a transformation of this world as we know it. We want to transform public safety. We want to reimagine public safety. Um, we're pushing back against narratives that say you can tinker around the edges of policing. You cannot. Um, and so that's what we're doing here. We're with the families of many of those who've been killed by police or many of the families of those who've been killed by police as well as, you know, our whole crew from Black Lives Matter and white people for Black Lives, people's budget. Um, and so that's what we're building towards today. Publicbudget.com. Um, you know, uh, I know you got a lot to do, so let's ask you one last question. Melina, where are you drawing the strength? You've been out front for so long and I've been seeing you everywhere. It's a beautiful movement. And I know you've been around for what, five years you've been? Seven. Oh, it's, you've been here the whole I shot seven. that first, your first action. That's a, wow. the Trayvon Verdict Uprising. Yeah, yeah. So we've been in the streets seven years and what we're really trying to build is a movement that um, is restorative, that is, um, it gives us life. It doesn't take away our lives. It's a way that we really channel our energy and make change. It gives us purpose. And so I'm not tired. I'm not even close to tired. I'm becoming enlivened and invigorated movement work. And I think that many of us who've been in this since the beginning feel the same way. I'm just going to take a little walk around and then I'll come back around for when they uh, when they get up on stage and speak. What's up, man? And uh, it's interesting what she said, you know, she's out here with her families and every of the victims of police violence and police murder in L.A. And so and sometimes from outside of L.A., but it's very overwhelming to see the same families here year after year after year you know and the police uh, department in la had a big uh, press conference yesterday and they announced that this cop named tingarides this black woman was going to be the head of some new aspect of the department and uh, that was their response to like this massive global blm revolution and so nothing new same thing and after all these years here's all the families and that's the law enforcement in los angeles's big answer they're gonna fix it themselves and they've been trying to do that a long time and that's how we got where we are so we're back downtown la with blm la this is the weekly jackie lacy protest Let's see if anybody else we could talk to Let me talk to this guy. He's pretty talkative. And he's got a perspective. And see if he likes live streams. Hey man, you want to talk to my live stream? What's up? Haps News. I'll just ask you like who you are, where you are, that kind of stuff. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, so who are you? Where are you? What's going on here? So right now we're in downtown LA. We're on Spring and Temple, right in front of City Hall. And I am Eric, man, proud owner of Republic Statement Apparel. We're out here letting our voice be heard. Right now it's a BLM uh, uh, event. However, what we out here talking about is fuck Jackie Lacey. Now, if you don't know who Jackie Lacey is, Google her. And Google exactly what she has done to prosecute killer cops. That's what I want you to do. That's your homework for tonight, people. Google Jackie Lacey, who she is in California, and what she's done to prosecute killer cops. I'm talking about cold blood, too. Cold blood. Another public statement, another public statement brought to you by Public Statement Apparel, man. You know what's so compelling about Jackie Lacey is that all these years with, like, 
one prosecution. And the whole time, the LAPD was killing more people than any other law enforcement in the country agency in the country. Absolutely. And still she didn't. How has Jackie Lacey survived? Why is she still here? Your, your guess is about as good as mine, brother. It's because she's being protected. Just like we, we, we all wondered the same thing about Trump. How is he still here? After the, all the ridiculous things that he's gone through, he's protected. A lot of power. A lot of power and a lot of protection. Look at these boys. Look, y'all can see it. Y'all can just turn around. Look. This is Jackie Lacey. This is all her call right here. These are her soldiers. All that. Look, you can go down there. All down there. Look, look. They're everywhere. If you keep filming, boss, you're going to see helicopters. You can look up there. Look it. Look, you see them with binoculars? They're looking at us right now. Look at them. Yeah. They know we see them. Yeah, hi. He's talking about over here. Uh, yeah, we see you. Yeah, so there's all kinds of things. This is Jackie Lacey and her, her goons out here doing her, doing her bidding for. So, you know, that's what we out here. We're doing that Burks and Sage. You know what I'm talking about? Come on. Thanks, thanks for burning us, Sage. Hey, no worries. Let's clean the place out. Let's get Olympia. That's it. That's what we're doing. Thank you, my friend. No problem, brother. Eric, I'll talk to you later. Thanks. I'm just taking the y'all. Just him. Hey, where do they find you? Oh, public statement, I'm on Instagram, Public Statement Apparel, all one word, and publicstatementapparel.com, all one word. Great. Thanks, man. Bye. There you go. Support black-owned business, Public Apparel. If you look around, you see like, yeah, there's a lot of black people here, but there's also a lot of white people here. There's some Asian people here. There's uh, brown people here, of course. We're in LA. Yeah, and there's white people. Everybody's here. So, what Melina was saying is that BLMLA started in 27 years ago. So, 2013 at the Trayvon Martin 
Verdict Uprising. That's what her and Patrice Colors and the other woman was calling their first uh, their birthday. And they recently just celebrated the seventh anniversary right here. Jackie Lacey must go. Jackie Lacey must go. Let me see if this kid on the scooter wants to talk. His five years ago, his brother, I'm trying to remember his name, was shot and killed by the LAPD. And uh, and so he's been out here speaking with BLMLA. And he's pretty ramped up. Let me see. I'll wait till he comes back in here. Anyways, his name is Renee. His brother was killed by the LAPD five years ago. Shot three times in the back and twice in the head. And uh, I don't know what it's like for people. Like it must just be such an extreme trigger to be at these things. And, you know. Yeah, I was just uh, talking to the just talking to that guy about the bike he bought. It's not related to Black Lives Matter. What's up, Bob? How are you, Sam Slavic? You want to talk to my live stream? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna get it close so I can uh, can so I can uh, hear you. Please talk loud. Hi, what's your name? Where are you? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm Michael Novick. I'm an anti-racist action. I've been coming to these for a long time. My wife and I lost a child, uh, long, you know, a dozen years ago. So I really empathize with the families, especially. But I think it's critical for people to come out against uh, these racist police murders in the community. The fact that the DA hasn't been anything about it in seven years, eight years now. Seven years? Yeah. Hey, Michael, Jackie Lacey must go. What Absolutely. the hell? Why is Jackie Lacey still in office? Uh, she got a pass, I think. You know, she ran on the polls. She, she stuck in the back door. She was like anointed by the previous DA, who was really a Republican. She was just a protege, but she pretends she's a Democrat. People think, oh, she's a Democratic black woman, she must be okay. But uh, she's proven, you know, categorically in her practice that it doesn't matter. You know, she, she's part of the that upholds the event, white supremacy, and, and uh, you know, basically raising the community, and she's got their backs all the time. The police, not the police. If the chief comes out against them and they kill him, she still doesn't prosecute. So it's like, yeah, so no conspiracy theory, she's just part of the machine. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they, they one hand wash the other, you see all these liberal politicians come out and back her, and she lets the third one do the same thing. And this issue turns aside, you have uh, in terms of the future left, about how much money the uh, uh, police protective league donates. They gave her over a million dollars for her campaign. So, of course, you know, she's got a group of here's a, here's a big question that's kind of related. So, $2 billion from the state, a billion from uh, the county, to target homelessness and then all the COVID money that's supposed to be allotted and coming in. Where the money? Who's got the money? Well, uh, it went into the bureaucracy, it went to the police departments, they all tap that and claim they're providing homeless services. Uh, LAPD gets two billion dollars for general fund and a billion and a half in other money that, that they get they get money from the uh, LA Metro system, they get money from the LA Public Library, they get money from the parks department. Municipal the courts. Department. This is on top, yeah. Municipal courts. Yeah. On, this is on top of the general fund money. So they, their budgets almost double what they get from the city from all these other sources, federal grants, uh, you know, weapons that they get donated from the defense department, you know, uh, civil uh, forfeiture when they seize assets. It goes into like Smith funds. They're trying to create these Smith networks. They pay off with the money they get from the, the drug dealers. So it's a, it's a huge machine, you know, it's just like Ferguson, where they were running the city on, on the fines and penalties. Same shit here. 
Um, I'm gonna thank you. Thank sure. you. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna call you up. Can I call you up and interview you about this or something yeah, I'm working sure. on? Uh, Excellent. Uh, the number in here is like a Google Voice. I got your number. I got your email. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. That's Michael Novick, and he is turning the tide. There's a lot of information about, um, you know, the city and where the money's going and all the COVID money. And so that's something I'm really interested to research and find out more about. Yeah, I'm reading your comments. Yeah, I know it was hard to hear him. That's why I tried to wrap it up. I think it's about to start. And uh, in the meantime, I'll see if there's anybody else we can talk to. Here's where we are, right there is LA City Hall. Directly across the street from that is the LAPD headquarters. Right here is the court building, and right here is the Hall of Justice. So this is north. I'm looking down the block toward Arcadia, and south, I'm looking to Temple Street. And we're right here on first. So. That's, uh, I'm sorry, spring. And so this is kind of like uh, a lot of, it's a very, this area has a very rich history of uprise and protests. And, and uh, tonight, I don't know what they're anticipating, but uh, but they, uh, there's not the usual, um, you never know who's going to show up at these things. It's so mixed. So, um, yeah, tonight, I don't know what's happening. They've got it blocked off. You can see two blocks down. They set up a little skirmish line and shut the streets down. So two blocks all the way around. they got a parameter. And that's kind of the usual thing that they do when there's uprise downtown. And... Uh, so that's south. That's City Hall. We're over here. This is Jackie Lace's place. And there we go. This is Black Lives Matter LA weekly action. And it's uh, about ousting the DA, Jackie Lacey. Uh, LA historically kills more people than any other law enforcement agency in the country. Jackie Lacey historically with, with rare exceptions, has ever prosecuted. I think she prosecuted one uh, police murder. and 
got it. But more importantly, it's about the work. Not just being up here when the cameras are out, not just where's the mic, but it's all that work in between. For the past seven years, out front, let's do this. How about that? What do you think about this? We gotta challenge that. We can't accept that shit. This has been one of the strongest voices, one of this bright shining light, and one of the people that keep us going. Many of y'all know who I'm talking about because all Black Lives Matters events start with libation. Yeah. And you 